I would like to see the baby. Talpas are anomalous objects or entities created through the sheer belief of large groups of people. That being said, stop manifesting SCPs, you horny bastards! As you'll see up ahead, positive reinforcement is a highly underreported aspect of what we do here at the Foundation. Recreation time, preferred snacks, entertainment, all of this is paramount in maintaining long-term containment. Da, da. Are they buying it? Yes, they're buying it. Shut up! Hmm. Well, that's a problem. But not my fault. I did everything I could. And you did too. Also, why are you still here? The subject has been alive in there for centuries. We're digging him out now. We need to figure out how he's still alive and why he's in there in the first place. Montresor, it's been ages. Do you have the Amontillado or not? SCP Containment Breach Challenge. Blind duet or use the sound and fulfill the task to show that you're foundation material. Ready? Let's go. SCP-049 has entered the room you are in. Evacuate that room immediately. Its touch is lethal. If it gets its hands on you, it is game over. Are you approaching the entity? Are you flirting with it? That is a murderous anomaly, not your husbando. What is wrong with these recruits? After days of scouring security footage, I discovered that Agent Harpo himself had been releasing SCP Redacted and then recapturing it in order to garner commendation and progress towards promotion. After presenting this evidence to the Ethics Committee, they refused to persecute Agent Harpo in any manner. I can't fathom why they would allow this flagrant risk to security to continue unabated. What do you have to say about this? Thanks, Harpo. Oh yes, thanks, Agent Harpo. How unfortunate. It seems that Dr. Sherman in this universe drank a shrinking potion that won't wear off. I won't be so oh, Dr. Adelby is there to go get help. C-2317 Sherman is going to be just fine. Ooh, ooh. It's not not cannibalism because I'm bite-sized! Good afternoon. This is Dr. Theron Sherman, and these are your daily Foundation announcements. There will be a celebratory luncheon in the staff commissary at 12 p.m. today in honor of junior researcher Stanley, who discovered the long-lost back half of SCP-529. I'm sure Josie will be ecstatic. A requisition of three boxes of Woodford Reserve brand bourbon, cleaning chemicals for the containment chamber's hot tub, and a new PlayStation 5 to replace the one that fell into said containment hot tub is to be delivered to researcher Talaran to aid in the containment of highly dangerous and totally real I'm the only one who can see it, you guys just have to trust me, Keter Entity SCP-3999-J. Godspeed, James. Godspeed. Reminder that it is not forbidden to enjoy civilian content during breaks in your research, but be sure not to like and subscribe to YouTube videos using your encrypted foundation account. Steve. Correction. The supposed back end of Josie the Half-Cat turned out to be the non-anomalous rear end of SCP-682's dinner. The celebratory luncheon is hereby cancelled. Initiate backroom spatial anomaly test. Hmm. Interesting. Let's give it another go. D-1175, please proceed down the stairwell. Man, that's a long job. So take the stairs. Well, this is what I get paid for. That's a turn of phrase. We don't actually pay the D-Class. Uh, hello? Laws of physics? Hey, we've got a gravitational anomaly in this section of the back rooms. Nice. Oh, don't look down. That activates the Wiley Coyote principle. Oh, oh no! Oh, God! Get a recording of this. We have to show this at this week's staff meeting. <laughs> Bright! Blue! You guys gotta see this! Do you really think he has a chance? The arrogance of man is thinking nature is in our control. And not the other way around. Let them fight. A capital idea! A mobile task force designation for the Site-42 fam for when I need y'all to raid an SCP project to help make sure it's successful. Something like Mobile Task Force Sigma-42, codenamed Signal Boosters. Leave me some ideas in the comments for what you want to call it. So if you've ever complained that Jurassic Park isn't a real thing, it is a real thing. It's just not called Jurassic Park. It's called Florida. The agents of the Chaos Insurgency are three blocks back. We need to get that object somewhere. I was gonna say safe, not the middle of a goddamn intersection. You're racking up a lot of casualties, Agent. Pick it up with the tongs, not your hands. These two of your brain cells are working. They've gained a block, but we can still... Look out! Excuse me, sir. Oh, at least you didn't gank another civilian. Let me get that for you. You know what? That's on him. 
All right, they are right on your tail. We've got to just dispose of this thing. It didn't activate on the ground. Maybe it won't activate in the water. Just, I don't know, chuck it. Oh, at least it's not in the hands of the insurgency. Oh, you just proved the existence of Poseidon, and he gave you the middle finger? Mission failed. Ugh, I need to feel something. Harry, can you tell me something that'll piss me off? Boba Fett's better than Mondo. Yep, that'll do it. What is this? <laughs> but seriously, this account that I'm duetting here is a content thief. They rip off numerous videos from numerous talented TikTok accounts, pass them off as their own for views and follows. I mean, look at this. You just darken the colors a little bit and slap some spooky music behind it, which is really silly because you can still hear the peaceful music. What kind of laziness is that? We are smarter than the content thieves. The actual creator of Ralph the Dapper Skeleton here is linked in my caption. Go check him out and ignore the fakers. Thanks. We have been trying to contain that madman in a box since the birth of the Foundation. We will not be fooled again by some parlor trick vehicle disguise and when we crack open that door that's the smell of victory i'm sorry it's just not tenable we could revolutionize the foundation by utilizing minions as d-class but you're not ready for that conversation dr sherman please Herman Fuller's Circus of the Disquieting is staffed by a myriad of anomalous performers. From ghosts and mermaids to the rabbit made of living cotton candy, SCP-049 the Plague Doctor did a stint with them. And who could forget the clowns that are actually Cthulhu entities in clown skin suits that explode if you don't milk them enough. So anomalous bubbles? Pretty relaxing change of pace. Ah! Why are you out of your cell? Why are you in my office? Why are you looking at me like that? Well, at least he didn't steal the gender switching stone this time. Living fictional characters are a dime a dozen at the Foundation, such as SCP-423 or SCP-3086. Due to their pataphysical nature, examination of these entities can often be unpredictable. Does that one bleed spiders? No, that's too many spiders! Conspiracy theorists be like, birds aren't real or all birds are drones spying on you, but only the Foundation knows what's really going on here. Stay safe. Don't fuck with birds. SCP Containment Breach Challenge. Blind duet, fulfill the task, and share your video using hashtag I won or I lost to show us if you're Foundation material. Ready? Let's go. Keep your eyes open and on that statue. That's SCP-173, and if you blink, it's game over. Some of you may think you're clever and that you can alternate blinking each eye to keep at least one eye on the statue. If you can manage that, good luck. But if we roll the tape and we see that both of your eyes close any point, even for a fraction of a second, you're done. SCP-173 is an anomalous statue made of concrete and rebar. It cannot move if someone has direct eye contact with it, similar to a weeping angel in that way. But while the weeping angels do all this timey-wimey, send you back in time and eat your remaining time or whatever, Whatever, this one just snaps your neck if you lose. Some of you may be wondering why this statue isn't peanut shaped. Well, the original image for SCP-173 was copyrighted and used without permission, so we had to get rid of it. But a bunch of people made redesigns, and there's a gallery on the wiki now. And Trevor Henderson, the guy who made Siren Head, made this one. Isn't that cool? Don't get distracted. The video's almost over. Did you survive? Procedure 110 Montauk is just sitting around and eating cookies. There's absolutely nothing horrible about Well, it is horrible on my waistline. <laughs> But seriously, we're going to have to amnesticize you. My child, have you exorcised your demons? No, I've been exorcising them. What? Now they're stronger than ever. Dear God. God can't save you now. Dr. Wu gave me this hat and threw me on the wall. Uh-huh. He said it's outdoor therapy. And? I'm not sure why, but I don't feel like curing existences. Really? I wasn't sure about this touch grass angle, but good work. Some of the most difficult anomalies we deal with are the ghosts of magicians and their assistants. Not only do they want to rip your face off, but they're talented at misdirection. You're so sexy, I want to eat you. Flattered, but I must decline. Connor, send in a D-class. No, you can't volunteer. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.